We are starting to learn the names of some of the victims of this tragedy. Margaret Brennan is at the Newtown United Methodist Church with more on that. Good morning, Margaret. Good morning to you, Anthony. There is only a single funeral home here in Newtown and now 27 lives to put to rest. Only two children made it to the hospital before dying. The rest died at the school alongside their teacher and principal. 47 year old Dawn Hawksprung was shot and killed alongside the children she cared for as principal of Sandy Hook Elementary School. Parents remember her as a friend to the students. She's wonderful. She loved all the kids, always had a smile on her face, always in a good mood, made you feel at home when you were there. Hawksprung joined the school in 2010. She kept an active Twitter account, regularly posting updates on school activities. In mid October, she tweeted, Safety first at Sandy Hook. It's a beautiful day for our annual evacuation drill. So far, we know the identities of three of her students. Seven-year-old Anna Marquez Green, the daughter of a well-known saxophone player. Emily Parker, who moved to Connecticut with her family just a year ago. And Chase Kowalski, survived by his parents, Rebecca and Steve. Also among the dead, school psychologist Mary Sherlock, 56 years old. She planned to retire next year. And Vicki Soto, a 27-year-old first grade teacher. The first victim, Nancy Lanza, worked with young children. She died at home, believed to have been shot dead by her own son. Margaret, Margaret, do we have any idea yet when police will begin to move the bodies from the school? Well, state police have identified the children, and they are optimistic that they'll be able to release the remains to the family later today. But no specific time frame has been released just yet, Anthony. Margaret, it's almost impossible to imagine any sort of recovery after this, but what's your view on how this community will come together since you've grown up so close to here? Well, you know, Rebecca, everything has come to a halt this weekend. All school activities, all sporting events, all social activities. And as you can see at this Methodist church behind me, there's a sign on the door. It's a sanctuary open. And we've seen people, even before the sun came up this morning, coming in with flowers. There'll be a memorial service.